What is everyone's thoughts on the right-wing YouTubers and their obsessions with movies being woke? The entire internet was aflame over light year, kind of like what we talked about last episode, and the so-called woke kiss. But I watched the clip and the kiss lasted for maybe half a second. Do you think people who complain about wokeness are all clowns or is there any validity in that line of thinking? Wokeness isn't inherently bad, but it can be annoying and I especially feel it can be annoying in movies that are not really selling themselves as that okay or or uh, i don't know like like uh, a woke movie it? for me is like everything everywhere all at once <laughs> yeah it's, it's kind of woke. When, <laughs> when, but woke i like mean? that about that film it's selling itself. Woke like means that. anything that conservatives yeah. disagree with but the issue whenever <laughs> woke is woke is like i don't know whenever i don't know how to describe woke <laughs> let, let, let me hear how you describe it i whenever wokeness is an issue in a movie it's not because of wokeness it's because they're trying to uh, inject things into the movie that take away from the experience of the narrative and the characters right so regardless of which way a writer is leaning it can be annoying when uh, their political uh, beliefs are injected into a film in a way that takes away from the film if it's something like a black person being in a movie I don't think that really takes away from a film if it's something like a trans yeah. character existing in a movie I don't think that that takes away from a film so yeah there are arguments you can make where it's like oh yeah the woke elements of a film took away from it because it took away from the actual narrative but i think that the, what a lot of uh very hysterical people on twitter complain about doesn't necessarily fit that mold especially mm. as we've seen with the light buzz light your kiss and now apparently just a trans character existing in a new disney show is you know yeah. something to f flip out over so yeah it's kind of weird i thought yeah to, yeah i think i think the thing is um i think sometimes i guess my only problem with it in this sense um is that sometimes it feels quite performative and sometimes i feel they inject these yes. things like yes. there's like a side thing is like yes hey look we love gay people but then what they'll do is they'll 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 make it so fleeting so because they're afraid to actually put like a character in that position in a more prominent yes. role so mm -hmm. sometimes it more feels like a, a bit of an annoying wink um rather natural acknowledgement that this this is people existing and i think one of the concerns in the past and probably has happened is that basically they put these people in these scenes for such a short amount of time so they don't piss governments in conservative countries off and, yeah that's annoying and, mm -hmm. that, and, I, and i talk about that, it when it happens yeah that's a that's a valid thing to criticize disney over and it's a valid thing to criticize criticize the russian and chinese governments over um but uh, it's a lot of the arguments now at this point it seems to have mm -hmm. evolved seem to have evolved into just being upset that a black or trans person is in the movie like that's unfortunately mm. what it has devolved yeah. into is the conversation seems to be no longer about like hey this is kind of performative like that's a valid criticism but people are actually being like we need to uh, censor this part in the movie so that children aren't corrupted by the woke agenda by disney being like literally the option existing uh we can't let a, a single child know mm. that a woman and another woman can ever kiss because yeah. otherwise every kid will be gay or so like that's what the conversation is now that's fucked up <laughs> that was not woke. Yeah. i'm sorry that was like really yeah. that was yeah. so minor in my opinion yeah it's yeah. like not even worth mentioning I've, it's sad that people even talked about like, it. it it has gone so much further than than the conversation yeah. was like a few years yeah. ago and uh, it is isn't, and that and that that annoys me as well because it's like these are real experiences that will happen in 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 our lives and why is it not fair to represent those on the screen exactly. we yeah. will uh, you will see be... people in gay relationships yeah let's mm -hmm. let's stop the mm -hmm. performative shit stop including christian characters in your movies i don't want to see your shit you know you're trying to do indoctrinate the kids <laughs> into thinking that they can be christians like come on it's the same argument mm -hmm. stop fucking stop being such a snowflake stop being so sensitive over people it's fucking art or, or like you said when there's a there's a straight when there's a straight relationship in a movie or a straight sex scene in a movie it's like yeah. oh, what are you grooming kids to be gay it's like obviously not it's just a sex scene or a straight scene it's just expressive of 
street people, just like how gay people can express themselves. For someone to, for a character to exist in a film that is an identity and their identity is shown in the film and that's all there is to it, whether it be black, trans, gay, whatever, it's the same, it's literally as political as if someone just had a Christian character in their film. It's as political as that, but the, these people don't complain about that shit. Mm-hmm. You know, as political as a straight person in the film, like, fuck off. Yeah, so cherry-picked. It's so cherry-picked. So annoying. It, people feel threatened, too, that their lives are going to be affected by, like... Yeah, they're going to be affected by, like, a trans person or gay person making a film. But, like, really, like... like it, it, I'm sorry. It's not that common. Like, like mm. the Wachowskis, like, a trans sister... Or they, they used to be brothers and they became sisters, like, directing a film. That is not common. Mm-hmm. This is not a common thing. And people feel threatened by it. But it isn't... Mm. They shouldn't be threatened by it because it's not mm-hmm. a common thing they're, they're they're maybe their kid will be trans or gay but maybe not like they shouldn't be threatened by that it's just well, people who are different from you expressing themselves and, and getting a spotlight it, it yeah i don't know yeah. why they're so scared of yeah it. like a small portion of a, f- a fraction of a moment in a film in uh, which is right. the film itself is a fraction of the overall filmography that exists on the planet right just like the the mm. yeah. a billionth of a percentage you know, of something like that existing is enough to flip out over, apparently. So, like, yeah. Jesus Christ, grow the fuck up, stop being a baby, <laughs> and just be comfortable <laughs> or learn to be comfortable that other people exist in the world. You don't have to like them. You don't have to agree with them. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be trans just because you saw a trans character in a movie. You don't have to... <laughs> you don't have to get the surgery. Don't worry. It's not going to be mandated. You know, so... There are many movies without like trans characters and, and gay characters that they can watch. The overwhelming like majority the of films years do of, not yeah, have exactly. trans. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say characters. the first 100 years yeah. of cinema, basically, <laughs> with a with a few notable exceptions. Even the, the overwhelming majority of films today don't yeah, have today, trans. Even today, like, mm-hmm. yeah, because again, most people are not trans or gay. They're just, or like a lot of them, you know, in, at least in my culture, <laughs> it's not you know, it's not common. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's a very silly thing to be scared of. But yeah, it's it just kind of goes back to like yeah. it's what we were saying earlier with like the when we're talking about men, like there's just certain topics, man, like the, the wokeness one, gender stuff, and it just makes talking about it just such a nightmare. Like, yeah, the the, the scene in Endgame where they they like pretend that there's like the the women Avengers, you know, and they're like as if yeah that we've been building this up the whole time and they're they're characters that are just as developed as everyone else and it just feels like really corporate and lame Mm. but then Mm -hmm. when you like talk about that it just becomes like another conversation like you're saying about like yeah there's it's like a black person in this now this is this is (laughs) forced wokeness everywhere and there are good faith conversations to be have to, to be had about uh this subject but unfortunately having those conversations there are a lot of bad faith bad faith people that jump into those conversations and sort of derail it into their own just political agenda which they claim to be against politi- political agendas you know but they have their own right <laughs> so like it, it, the, yeah. the newest one is like there's a leaked clip from a Disney Plus show that's a new Big Hero 6 basically and there's yeah. a very like the the clip is like 17 seconds long or something big hero six is in a store uh they're supposed to grab like tampons for another character or something and they're Mm -hmm. in the aisle and then all of these a bunch of women essentially uh come up and help the character like oh here's here's the brand i like here's the brand i like one of those characters is a trans male so female to male trans character you can tell that because their shirt has the trans flag on it and they just say, I like mm. the ones with wings. And the tweet that everyone's sharing says, Disney is trying to indoctrinate the children. But you know what? I'm going to get the actual... Uh, <laughs> I wonder if I can search <laughs> right. for it. It's but anyway, the same the, 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 <laughs> thing. Yeah. The, the, the crazy thing about it, the crazy thing about it is they say, Disney is trying to teach children that men can have periods. But what doesn't make sense to me, and people are retweeting this unironically and joining in on this NPC bandwagon of like, oh, I'm outraged at this right now. But that was a female-to-male trans character when 
any other day of the week, you would be saying that's a woman because they have woman parts. So how yeah. are they now yeah. complaining <laughs> that how, <laughs> how is the narrative system. now? Disney is trying to teach kids that men can have periods when I thought that you thought that that was a woman. It's so inconsistent yeah. and it just seems like you <laughs> want something to be outraged about. It's very, it's, it's insanely performative, insanely annoying. It's just virtue signaling, which is something they claim to be against. So, yeah, yeah, grow the fuck up. People do it on both sides. Yeah, there's <laughs> annoying people on the, the left and annoying people on the right. And if you call out mm-hmm. those annoying people on one side, maybe think about your side doing it too. Maybe think, hey, <laughs> the people doing it on both sides are really fucking annoying and we should <laughs> discourage that. Some people just don't want to look at their own side in that way. It's such tribalistic nonsense bullshit and it's caveman mm-hmm. brain. I'm done. <laughs>